welcome back to Magic City Morse. How are you guys? I know that our last two videos were on a sad note and we are still um, waiting to hear some more updates on what's going on with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. I know that this story has really, really touched a lot of people and everyone in the community is rallying together on this, supporting US Arc and US Arc Florida. Again, if you haven't already, please go support U.S. Arc and U.S. Arc Florida. Go donate. Go become a member. We're members. We encourage everybody to become members. I'll have links down in the description if you need those websites to go to. Also, if you're really wanting to keep up with what's going on, you should check out the latest video um, from U.S. Arc about this. It goes into a little bit more details about what happened um, some of the true facts with the incident. Also, um, Intrepid Exotics is another big channel that's been keeping up with a lot of this stuff. So if you really, really want to know um, the latest and the in-depth on this story, please, please go check out the U.S. ARC YouTube channel and go and check out Intrepid Exotics. Today, we're going to be doing a species spotlight video on the Kenyan sand boa. We have our Kenyan sand boa diglet out here this is actually the kenyan samboa that we are selling we're doing a local pickup deal so if you come get her for 250 you will also get all of her food that she needs her enclosure substrate heat mat everything that goes with her you can take an entire setup home if you come get our kenyan samboa um, with the local pickup deal that we're offering and we are still doing the buy one get one half off snake deal now through july 31st so if you're interested in that don't hesitate to go check out our morph market store we actually have two customers coming today to get two snakes so we're excited about that these snakes are going to get new homes and we really love when people come over because it allows us to get to know people and people love to come visit and see the rest of our collection so if you are in the area or you're close by don't hesitate to come by we would love to see you so please enjoy this video and we hope that you learn a lot about Kenyan sand boas today the Egyptian or Kenyan sand boa is a species of snake within the boa family. They are endemic to northern and eastern Africa. Three subspecies are recognized. Adult females are rarely more than three feet in length. Males are significantly smaller than females, averaging around two feet in length. This makes the Kenyan sand boa an ideal size for beginner keepers. Kenyan sand boas are naturally beautiful snakes. Their natural color pattern in the wild consists of a yellow or orange coloration overlaid with dark brown splotches. As you can see here in this beautiful photo by Sand Boa 69, there are many different striking captive bred morphs. One of the most popular is the Paradox Snow, also the GX Paint. Their natural habitat occurs in semi-desert and scrub savannas, as well as rocky outcrops. They prefer sandy, loose soil. They are most active at night, but may be irregularly active during the day as well. This species is fossorial and spends the majority of the time underground. They have occasionally been known to climb trees. In captivity, they are usually bred during the months of November through April in the United States, averaging with a litter of about 10 to 20 babies. Although of docile temperament, these snakes are more easily stressed than some other common pet species. Handling once or twice per week is most comfortable for Kenyan sand boas. Juvenile Kenyan sand boas do well in a 10 gallon tank for about two years. At two and a half years, they will have more than doubled in length and be sexually mature. At this point, a 20 gallon tank would be needed for a single adult. Popular substrates used for Kenyan sand boas are sand and aspen shavings, the most popular substrate used by most keepers is aspen shavings due to risk of impaction by using sand. You can avoid impaction if you would like to use sand by offering a plastic container inside the enclosure when feeding 
so that your Kenyan sand boa can eat inside the plastic container and then slither out back into the sand when they are finished. They need about three to four inches of loose substrate to burrow into. They need a warm and a cool hide on opposite ends of the enclosure, a heavy water dish to avoid tipping over since they burrow, and something for the snake to climb and bask on. The basking temperature on the hot side of the enclosure should be between 90 to 95 degrees and the ambient temperature in the middle should be between 78 and 80 degrees. Nowhere in the enclosure should it be less than 75 degrees, even on the cooler side. A basking lamp is okay, but is not needed if you're using a heat mat under the enclosure, but make sure that the heat lamp or basking lamp does not exceed 95 degrees on the surface underneath. This can be checked with a temperature gun. You can purchase these at a hardware store or Walmart. The 30% humidity is ideal for these snakes unless they are in a shed cycle. If they are in a shed cycle, you would need to increase the humidity to between 60 to 65%. These snakes are a really great choice for beginner keepers and definitely beautiful. We really hope you enjoyed today's video on the Kenyan sand boa.